Hey everybody, it's Eric here with GMFlash.com and Spartan Auto Works. Today I want to make a quick video discussing a GTO and ECM replacement. Um, our BCM replacement, our PIM replacement. Um, I recently had an issue, the Z40 PCMs are notoriously garbage. I have an 05 GTO, um, got a ROM error message and car wouldn't start, or basically the car killed itself. Um, was able to get it restarted, got it back into the garage and it ran for a couple minutes and died again. So since I have uh, SPS, I figured, you know, the PCM's probably dead anyway, but I'm gonna give it a, a, a reflash try and see if just for some possible reason I can bring the computer back to life, which it worked. I was able to uh, bring the computer back. Um, and then I found out that there was a linking issue and I couldn't really find any information about it online because the GTO does not do the 30 minute key relearn. Um, in order to reseat an ECU uh, back in the car, uh, you have to use SPS programming. So after I reprogram the computer, it shouldn't have lost its uh, security data between the PIM and the ECM, but for some reason it uh, acted like it was a brand new installed computer or reflash computer um, that was used. Um, but with a rewrite, it shouldn't have, or reflash, it shouldn't have uh, erased the data, but it did. So I got uh, two codes. Uh, PO633, and, which is uh, theft deterrent key not programmed, and P1629, which is theft deterrent enable signal not received. So with that happening, I wasn't able to start the vehicle. So I looked around a little bit online because I didn't see the 30 minutes or the 10 minutes of VTD uh, relearn inside SPS. Um, so I was kind of uh, kind of wondering what to do. So I did a little reading and found out that in uh, um, SPS, there's this thing called PIM to PCM linking. Um, in order to reseat the PIM or a BCM or an ECM, you have to uh, complete this procedure, which is only available uh, through SPS. Now I have located um, some documentation from the Snap-on uh, website that looks like the Australian Solus has this built into the Australian uh, scan tools and I asked my Snap-on guy if, you know if I could get that software of course not possible or at least that's what he told me so unfortunately it looks like if you have a GTO 04, 05, 06 uh, 04 you should probably be able to turn the com uh, um, security off since that's a different style of computer you should be able to turn the um, security off uh, inside HP tuners. Uh, but with this, uh, 05 and 06, you will not be able to. So you will have to have uh, basically a dealership or somebody that can do uh, SPS programming um, be able to do this procedure. So I just want to give you an idea what it looks like. Obviously, I'm not going to complete the whole thing because I've already done it. And for now, the car is running until I can get a replacement uh, ECM, which is looks like it's on national back order. Um, but anyway, you're it's going to launch a special application, and you're going to click PIM, um, PIM GM link or GM LAN link to ECM GM LAN. If you reset the PIM, obviously you'd say reset PIM or reset ECM. But we're trying to relink the PIM back to the ECM. So you click next, and I'm not going to do it here since this is already done. And I don't want to jinx the car. Um, but it did ask if it was a, a new replacement PCM or something. It had like three different options. And obviously I wanted to say it was a new replaced PCM. And literally it was that quick and I was able to restart the car. But unfortunately from all the research I did, it looks like there's no way around uh, having the dealership or having somebody that does programming or has the ability uh, to program um, GM vehicles. Um, with SPS programming uh, be able to do it. Now you might be able to get an old Tech 2 uh, or a Chinese Tech 2 and use TIS 2000 or the bootleg TIS 2000. Uh, I read some people online doing that. I don't own that stuff uh, nor do I own a Tech 2 so I can't uh, can't say if that would work. I don't see why it wouldn't because it goes up to I believe 2007. So that might be an option for some of you guys out there. Otherwise you're pretty much stuck dragging this to the dealership um, or somebody that, like I said that can do GM programming, which is you know not a lot of people out there, so more than likely you're gonna have to go to the dealership. But just to give you an idea of what this entails, 
um, to answer the questions because I found very little information out there. There is no way, as far as I know, to relink the E40 PCM back to the GTO PIM module um, without uh, dragging it to the dealership. Unless somebody can possibly get a hold of the Australian uh, software for the Solus or just the um, uh, Australian released uh, uh, snap on software. I did find instructions for that that you know shows that this is possible. Um, but the Altel didn't have it uh, under anything, and uh, obviously the Solus didn't have anything for this uh, feature. So, anyway, there you go, guys. If anybody had any questions or any doubts, or if you are one of the unlucky people that owns a GTO or any E40 vehicle, which isn't very many, mostly 5.3 and 6.0 vehicles, or I think 5 and 6 and possibly part of 7. Um, welcome to hell because nobody has that computer and uh, they are a little bit pricey to try to replace it. And unfortunately, you can't do a mail order um, to get it programmed and relinked all in one or turn security off. So to answer the question, you're pretty much stuck. You have to have SPS programming in order to relink your E40 computer back to the PCM or to the PIM module or uh, whatever security uh, for that vehicle that needs to go to. That's the only way to link it.